Hello my friends, this is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. For those who are returning visitors, welcome back and thank you. I want to share with you a small purchase that I made from Simon Says Stamp.com. There's the information. And also, for anyone who is interested, here is a coupon code for um any purchase at Simon Says dot Simon Says Stamp dot com, and this coupon is valid from now until two twenty eight. Okay, so there you go. I picked up a few Doodle Bug items that I wanted in order to complete um, a prior purchase that I made at um, Simon Says. If you remember, I picked up three of the new doodle bug design six by six paper pads i picked up the easter express i picked up the spring things and i picked up the cream and sugar paper pad which is by far my favorite i absolutely adore this paper pad and i want to make some pocket letters and cards using this paper pad and part of what I like using with these paper pads is the ephemera the coordinating ephemera that a doodle bug releases with every one of their uh, paper pads I didn't have any of the ephemera so I purchased some of the ephemera um, so let me go ahead and share that with you that was the cream and sugar paper pad. Here is the cream and sugar ephemera. How cute is this? I'm loving this. You get 103 pieces. And here's a close-up of what comes in the kit. And I am loving all of it. Look at the little coffee mugs. <laughs> How cute are they? I love coffee. Here we have the different dessert displays. Here's a coffee. Oh my gosh, what do they call that? <laughs> coffee pot, duh. Here we have two little teacups. This is just too cute, too cute. A little list. It is awesome. Look at the two coffee cups there, the, the um, carry out coffee. Love that. So I had to have this. And I can't wait to start making some pocket letters with that. Then for spring things, this is the 6 by 6 paper pad that I previously purchased. And I'll do another flip through because it is just so cute. Adorable. I am loving these clouds. Look at those clouds. And here's the other side. Super cute. So, of course, I needed to get the coordinating ephemera for that one, right? And here it is. Odds and ends. Spring things. 77 pieces. And this is what you get with the kit. Or with the pack, I should say. How awesome is this? I'm loving the clouds. Those little leaves are um, transparent. They kind of, you see that? How awesome is that? Quite a few sentiments. Hello, sunshine, beautiful spring. Flowers, trees, frogs, bugs, bees. This is just too cute. I'm excited to have this one too and can't wait to start making pocket letters with that. Of course, I had to pick up some of the coordinating mini icon sticker sheets. Here is one for spring things. Super cute. Here is one for cream and sugar. Fun, 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 fun. Look at the donuts. Oh my gosh. And the macaroons. <laughs> Woohoo! And then here are, I picked up one of the larger 
icon sticker sheets for the sugar and cream one since that was my favorite one. How fun. Look at the smiley faces. That's happy coffee. Look at this. Full of macaroons. Super cute. Then I picked up some of the Doodle Pops. Here we have a little bumblebee, a little bee in flower. That I would I would say that goes with spring things. This one would go with the Easter Express. And let me show that one to you. Here's the uh, Easter <laughs> Express pad that I previously purchased. And I'll do a flip, flip through again. Okay, a fun, fun paper pad. And here's the other. How fun. I couldn't find the ephemera pack for that one. I don't know if I was just missing it or if it was out of stock. I don't know what the deal was. So I'm going to still be on the hunt for that. Hopefully I'll find that soon because Easter's quickly approaching. Um, but if not, I'll make it work. But I prefer to find them. <laughs> I, I I did purchase the, a mini a Doodle Pop sticker. Look at how cute that is. The little bunny. Easter bunny on the train. This, I would say, coordinates with the spring things as well. We have a little frog on a lily pad with a tulip. Super cute. And these are called shape sprinkles. And these are uh, just dimensional bunnies with carrots. I thought I just thought it was pretty. I had uh, one of these before. And I used up the entire pack making a couple of pocket letters and some ATCs. And I think I even made a... Yeah, I did. I made a birthday card. And I used it all up. So I um, was glad I was able... To pick up uh, one more. And then finally, I have been, oh boy, I have been wanting this My Favorite Things Alpha Stamp since, I think it was, was it Nicole? Nicole McGuark? I think is where I saw it. Um, in one of her card making videos, she used this stamp. I think it was. I'm almost sure it was. And when I saw it, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's called the Well Connected Alphabet. And I loved, I love the font. First of all, I love the font. I love the size of the font. I love how bold it is. Like it's a very thick font. It's not at all, it's not like super heavy, but it's not super thin either, if that makes sense. And what I really love is that all of the letters are um, designed in a way where they connect as you stamp them out. So super, super, super awesome uh, alpha stamp set. And I don't have a lot of alpha stamp sets in my stamp collection because Nine times out of ten, I'll just use my Cricut um, and my Cricut markers to write any sentiments or names or anything that I don't have an actual stamp for. So I don't really have a need for alpha stamps, but this one is just simply gorgeous. And it's just an amazing time saver as opposed to setting up my Cricut setting up the file, creating the design. This way I can just pull the stamp out. And, and stamp whatever um, sentiment or whatever name. I had more name stamping in mind when I bought this than stamping sentiments. So I think it's going to be an awesome addition to my stamp collection. And I can't wait to start playing with it. So that's my entire um, Simon Says stamp purchase. Um, I have a little time left on this video, so I think what I'll do is I'll share with you two books that I recently picked up uh, through Amazon.com. One is called The Collage Couture, Techniques for Creating Fashionable Art. And as you can see, just by looking at the book, the focus here is Julie Nutting. 
It is an awesome book. I know it got mixed reviews on Amazon, which is why I initially, originally hesitated buying the books. But then when I started reading the negative reviews, they were kind of silly. Basically, people just complaining that they thought the book came with paper dolls that they can dress up using items that were included with the book. I certainly didn't get that impression in reading the description of the book. It is a take technique book. It gives you a step-by-step -step on how to accomplish certain looks or create certain projects using your Julie Nutting um, stamps. Um, so um, I don't think those complaints or negative reviews were well-founded. I'm enjoying the book and I can't wait to start um, playing around with it and using some of the ideas that are in the book. Look at this. How gorgeous. Beautiful. So glad I picked that up. Then another book I picked up is called Mixed Media Girls with Susie Blue. This is another book that's been on my list for a little bit and I finally picked it up. Drawing, painting, and fanciful adornments from start to finish. It is another technique book or step-by-step -step process book. This one focuses more on um, teaching you the steps, the thinking, and really the, the, the science behind drawing the beautiful faces that um, you see in a lot of mixed media. I, for one, uh, would like to draw more of my own images and my own girly girl dolls to include in my mixed media as opposed to printing them, cutting them, or using ephemera. But I struggle with making faces that don't look creepy as all hell. <laughs> so the reason I bought this book is because it's focused more on making the pretty faces that you see in a lot of... Um, these type uh, illustrations and projects, which is what I like to do. Um, I've, I'm, I think I'm about three chapters into it, and I'm absolutely loving it. The first chapter is all about um, the eyes, the placement of the eyes, then the nose, and then the lips, and all that fun stuff. But I absolutely love, love, love the book. I'm glad I purchased it. I don't remember it having a lot of negative reviews. It did have some, and those reviews were more um, from people who, I guess, maybe were a little more advanced than what this book is geared towards. This book is not geared towards anyone who's advanced and has their own skill set and is looking to, you know, build on that skill set. I think this book is more geared towards people who are just starting or have been doing it um but struggling with it and need a little bit of guidance in terms of technique i think this is what that book this book is geared for those people so anyone who's more advanced um might find this book um repetitive or too simple or doesn't contain enough technique or enough details on certain um concepts which you know after reading what negative reviews it did receive that was the focus <laughs> of the negative review i think that it's a great book for someone who is starting out in mixed media or for someone who is self-taught in mixed media has no type of training in 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 illustrating and drawing faces and needs a little bit of guidance or who needs to touch up or, or update their skills or if you want to do something a little differently then I think this is a great book it's beautifully beautifully illustrated step by step instructions are simple very clear and she has illustrations along the way and me personally this is the love I love this is the look I love it is like a girly grunge look that is the type of mixed media that I aspire to um and hope to improve on so i'm looking forward to reading the rest of this book i'm learning learning a lot reading this book a lot and i'm only about 50 pages in 
So this is going to be a great reference in my library and one I think I'm going to have for a long, long time. Probably going to keep it desk side, uh, top of my desk so that I can reach for it easily. So there you go. So that is my entire purchase. Thank you so, so much for watching everyone. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope you'll visit me again. Until next time. Bye-bye.